Do you want to start with that? Yeah, we're not going to play much. Lights? Uh, actually, could you dim them, please? If you, you cannot dim them. them. You can they're on or off. Can you turn them back off, then, please, so we can see the, the screen, please? Yeah. Off or off? Off. off. We had them off. Thank you. Okay, so um, you can see in column C is our new 2019 um, cost for each of the plans. Uh -huh. um, the column next to that is how much the town currently contributes to those plans. That's the other thing you can admit manipulate if you want. Um, so the total annual cost for each of those plants times the number of employees projected to be on those plants. Mm -hmm. So um, three projected plan changes. Mm -hmm. is, is the huge increase for sure. Is it based on our experience or is it based on the plan as a whole? It's based on the plans, it's, our, it's based on our group, not our town, but our the group. group. We're, we're in. in this, yeah, the group we're in. It's based on the performance of that, okay. uh, the claims and premiums on that. That's our 10% increase? 10 and a half. 10 and a half, that's great. Okay. Steve, can do you know what the average, or, or can they supply you the average what other increases are? It doesn't Well, so Miles wanted to look into other plans, mm -hmm. and so I've put that question out to our representative with Health Trust. Um, he will get back to me. Um, it's a lot of work to do in a short period of time, mm -hmm. um, which is not to say you can't do it, mm -hmm. but um, you've got to look at options, evaluate whether or not you're going to keep the cost percentages um, to employees the same. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to have that decision done by, I'm not sure when, the middle or end of November at the very latest, probably earlier, but I have to notify employees of what their contribution is going to be yeah. by December 1st. So um, I, I'm not dissuading you from that. I don't know when I'll have that information. Mm -hmm. but. Um, we, you can pick from any one of a number of plans, either very similar to what we have or completely different, um, like um, health savings account kinds of things or combination mm -hmm. kinds of things. Um, the board evaluated this, I think, three years ago, mm -hmm. maybe two years ago. Um, and they did, in, in, in threat of what was going to be the Cadillac tax, mm -hmm. which has now been pushed off um, or maybe eliminated, I don't know, but we're not facing that anytime soon. But the board decided to move in the direction of um, less fancy plan um, with that tax looming. Um, they took one step down in the plan level, um, but they chose to stay with the same type of plan at that time the employees were engaged in that conversation and really wanted to stick with that kind of <coughs> um, so um, I guess the, so so I say that because if you want to evaluate plans do you want to evaluate the same kinds of plans or do you want in light of um, a few new employees do you want to completely reevaluate what kind of plan is No. Um, so we get our plans from Health Trust because Health Trust, being what it is, is able to um, pass. They, they actually pay claims directly for us. They don't operate in the same way as some other places do. But So um, we're not restricted, um, but I guess if you're going to go outside Health Trust, you can try an RFP. I don't know what options are like out there outside of that, but you're extending the time, you know, it takes more time. So you can do, you can also think about doing something for this year and then get on, you know, just to get this budget figured out and then get on something else for next year. Right. The following year. Yeah, I'm worried there's not enough time to do a comprehensive evaluation. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to rush into something that's going to be terrible. Mm -hmm. And we looked at, when we, when we reevaluated the plans last time, we considered going outside of health trust. No. We did not. 
him at all? Well, <coughs> you, you all may have talked about it briefly, but no. there was no... Well... No, we... Um, We, we sp I spoke briefly with a, an insurance company, who it, one specific insurance company, which was um, the one that I was told was the primary competitor at the time. Mm -hmm. um, the rates were much larger. Right. And the, the advantage is <coughs> we can form larger groups for uh, how they pull them together. We have better options. Yeah, it also kind of stable. operates like Primex, like a risk. <coughs> Miles has volunteered, God bless him, to, to, look, to, look, at, um, to look at the plans for, as soon as we hear back from our, our, our source, uh, to, to look at the plans, to evaluate, and much like we did two years ago, but in a much shorter time period, I think, talk to the employees, right? And that we have to do is to talk to the employees and see if there's... Um, um, you don't have to. Well, it would I be the nicer thing to do. Um, it would be helpful to get a, you know, a will from the board about whether or not you really want to evaluate all kinds of things or if you really want to stay with what is the next step down cost or two steps right. down and, you know, look at similar things. Yeah, so we're going from uh, 64, 55 to 164. That's a heck of a um, The budget is 118. You're going from 118 to 164. But we're also we're increasing our, our coverages for two people, right? Well, that three. It's really mostly about that. I mean, the 10.5% yeah. on its own is not so much of a thing. It's more that the change in plans because the plan yeah. costs, even when you pay 85 or, you know, even though you're paying less of it, you're not paying it in full, the cost of those plans is so much higher. That's, right. It's the plan changes that's killing you more than the increase. We don't have a choice on it. Right. Come to you and take that forward regardless. So it's more that we just had too many already. Right. I mean, more well, than it, you know, or consider that. you had a benefit of a lot of people single, on simpler single, plans, single, single you know, plans. and, and right. so you benefited from that from a long, a long right. time. Um, what is the coverage like for the employees? Is it a, a deductible plan? Um, it is a really good plan. Plan because okay. governments typically offer a really good plan, so which is why it was considered a Cadillac plan. Okay. Um, like, is it a copay or? It's a small copay and no deductible. Okay. Or very small deductible. Mm -hmm. Lots of things are covered in full. Um, it also has a lot of um, 
Health Trust offers a lot of programs to encourage enrollees to keep the costs down by searching for different providers for mm -hmm. certain tests and things like that. Mm -hmm. it, it provides um, a lot of other benefits like um, financial planning and help with, you know, my mother needs nursing care, what do I do about that? They, they have a lot of other things besides other extraneous benefits, but it is a good plan for sure. You remind us all that the reason municipalities offer better plans like this is because on the compensation side, right. it's usually much lower. Yep. So be careful when we say we're going to cut back on plans. Well, and there's only so much you can cut until employees say, okay, well, fine, then I'll go either work for out of town or I'll go work in the private sector. I mean, mm -hmm. what does it cost to retrain or rehire an employee? So this is how we got into this problem years ago when we didn't have police officers in mm -hmm. So let's not. Uh, just keep it. I'm not saying yeah, no, suggesting I, either of you want to do anything I, I totally crazy, agree. but let's just. I think a ten and a half percent increase, while well, that's a big number, is not unusual for health insurance. Mm -hmm. they, we um, also had a six percent decrease last year. Yeah, okay. So while that feels big, you know, it's you know, it, it's less, you know, it, it's it's less painful. So we should though. That way. I think I think your instinct was right. Last to look at the other plans and see what they may offer, but we may find that. The, the real the real issue isn't so much the, the percentage increase on the plan cost. It is the fact that we have what is it, three three yes. folks going from single plans down to family plans or um, two person. And there's family an increase plans. in two person and family so just away from single. Those are that's what's really is driving this. Can this we specific. see what can we see what the difference would have been? What the percentage of the increase is based on the plans itself, not if we put them back in the plans that they were. So we, I mean, we have to sell this to the public. So yes. if we say, okay, the plan increased 4%, however, it's going up 10 because we have three people okay. who are changing their positions or their yes. family's position. That, that's a big deal because that's going to happen anyway. Right. You know, so if we could somehow All right, so, come up so with that. Look, look, at, look at the. Um, so you have seven, eight, five. There you go. You're down to the The rate change. Which is what is the percentage of that? Percentage of the increase based strictly on the change in plans versus the increase? 33.6. 33.6. 
I mean, there's some increase built in there because, of, you know, versus last year, but solely due to people shifting from single to another plan with 32,200. Okay, what's that percentage though? Because we're oh, saying of the total of oh. last year. Yeah, because we're mm -hmm. saying it's going at 10 percent. So. Right, right, right. The rate increase was 10 percent, but on top of that, what percentage change? Oh, of the new. Of the new. Oh, all right. Let's get back to the new. I think it was me just asking. I mean, it's it's not ten percent total. No, ten percent. It's, it's the rate change. Only. Ten and a half percent yeah. on the on the premiums <coughs> that we pay, um, but but it's complicated oh, by because, the fact that right, employees right. contribute. That's yeah. That's my point. So it's ten percent no. on the rate. Okay, so it's still going to be ten percent then. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Oh, uh, okay. I all right. I understand. But if we so more so, we need to know the difference in the what Miles did is this amount is because of changes. And then this amount is the ten percent increase. So that's huge. I don't I mean expect it to be that high for the changes, you know. So that that's a big chunk of it. I mean even though it is ten percent, but yes. Okay, let's just based on what we know today. What 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 are, what's the, what are the outstanding questions that we're waiting to hear back on, Caroline? Um. Which, what what are the questions we've already reached out and asked health stress about? Oh, health, health stress. Okay. Health stress. Um, I am only looking for um, Denise inquired about dental, and so I'm waiting for. Um, I gave Denise a cost on um, current rate dental. Dental went up. Um, six percent, I think you said, but he'll get me that information when he gets it. Um, and we were going to offer last year, right, to employees at their own expense, but they could be in the, they could join through the, our pool, but we weren't going to subsidize, right? Is that what the deal um, was it's, last year? That's correct, and and, and, no and it didn't it. fly because right. you need three quarters of those who are eligible, which is eight full time people, to so you need six people to do that and six people. Didn't choose to do that. So um, the only thing I'm waiting now for um, from Health Trust is, um, you know, besides a new rate on, on dental, is um, alternatives to the current plan. Right. So I mean, I, I have no objection to offering them that same arrangement again if people want to do it. You know, that but they have to pay for the health insurance, the, the dental insurance themselves, but it's at the rate that we receive, so it's a much because there has not been a change in personnel here, I don't anticipate you would get a different well, you're result. Well, you're going to get you have a new employee that's being brought on. Well, that's true. Circumstances could that's change. That's true. If, if you, you, you know, that change in one person could, could do it. But I think it's it fair to say that they didn't accept it last year because it was a combination of, of uh, folks already had coverage from their mm -hmm. spouses. Mm -hmm. There was the invincibility of youth. Um, the youth actually, well, it was really, you know, if, if the youth wanted it. Yeah, the youth they wanted it. The youth wanted it. Want it. That would have been my. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it has to do with people can get it through their spouses for cheaper, and not, you know. And it, it, to be honest with you, I don't think that they'll take it this year if we're going to be experiencing this kind of increase, but they're going to have an increase as well. Right. So, they are going to have an increase. As you well. know, so I, uh, I mean, it's out there if people want it. Because you do you have to renew it every year? Isn't the offer to do it? Once it, it's kind of it, once you're signing up, you're signing up, and and you're not signing up every year. You can uh, when when you don't have it, you can offer it every year. But once they sign up, it becomes status quo, and they're enrolled. Okay. So you can say that that that's still an offer, but I don't think that will happen. Well, you know, I would encourage you to at least keep it funded at a dollar so that it can be. An option. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They want to take it. Yeah. Uh, and that way, when we have a personnel change, we can evaluate it. Yeah. Offer it. See what happens. Okay. So, but in the meantime, we're still left with a six year. Well, the number has changed because it's the uh, one ninety six now. It's one sixty four. One sixty four. Okay. 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 Oh, so you you hadn't changed the number before. Yeah, that's the real total yeah. now. Okay. Yes. So until we hear back from. Um, from Health Trust and, and Miles can do a little investigating. 
These are the numbers we have. So we're left with the challenge of how do we project out? How much is it for another family plan? It's another, uh, another 24,000? Um, 24,000, but you're only, you're paying 80% of that. So the cost is, um, so you could take the 90, yeah, you, you've got to do some math to figure out what the, So we need to try to encompass them with some census. Um, so so it's, it's a two person or a family plan. Just over $19,000 a year yeah. for a family plan to have cost. So that's the other thing you can do is you can manipulate the um, employer percentage if you want to. What are we currently? Um, it's it's there in column D. The town picks oh, okay. 80 percent okay. of singles, 85 of two person, and 80 percent of a family plan. So for someone with a family plan, they're selling out five hundred bucks a month. I can uh, share their pain, actually. I know that's what the private sector does as well. I mean, I mean that's not unheard of, and, and, but salaries are... Oh, I'm not saying it's higher. fair. I'm just saying I, I no. understand completely because that's where I'm at. I get it. Me so. too. Yeah, I mean, but I it's a, your salary's a little higher than your TV salaries are. That's the problem. Yep. Yep. So. No other green from the side. Just part can't of not not have it. <laughs> yeah, no. So we need to decide if, if this is the the, the, the fairest um, percentage that we charge our employees, or the cost sharing is, is the fairest. And after we figure that out, we need to figure out whether or not we want to increase column G. And I would suggest that we probably do. Yeah, it's just the plan for. Um, I would say that you don't have to. If you have, if you if you replace with what's existing, I, I would suggest that you not increase column G. Okay. Why? I I can't say that without non-public information. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. But you'll be fine. You're not going to go over that. Do you do you know what the school percentages are? You, that you know? I don't remember. Uh, they were. Can I? Can I usually know? I know that when you and I were doing it, we were working on that in negotiations, I and I don't know how far they... But the, the, the budgets of HIPAA may have um, any sure the percentage, I don't know. Um, all right, well, if you're saying that you think that we you're fine. were fine, then... So, okay. Now, I'm, I'm less... I mean, I'm concerned that we're going to be going up $32,000, but... That's not, um, it's not as bad as I guess it was going to be. Um, we, have, um, we have an obligation to our employees for sure to provide insurance. And we want to keep um, well-qualified employees. So I would be very concerned with changing the, um, the percentage that we charge our employees. I, I, I guess I didn't remember, though, that we were 100% on single plans. Even if we put that at ninety percent, the same ninety dollars a month. Mm. I, I don't know. That just seems. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't know many employers that cover one hundred percent of an employee anymore. But just that's that's my understanding from the private sector. Okay. 
So let's say we do this. Now let's look at the, um, the salary line. We don't have to move, we don't have to switch screens, we'll have to think about it in our mind. At the highest <coughs> end, <coughs> if we go with the recommendation of the police at least, and the highest end of a merit increase would be 3% in the police department. And that would be less than um, less than what their increase would be on all of their insurance. So you would actually be reducing your, your employer's pay. Yep. Now, I'm not saying that we can't do that. I don't think we should, but I don't think we can. What's the long-term consequences of doing something like this? I mean, that. Yeah. This is a workshop, but we should to, No, I'm trying to put it in correctly. That happens to all of us, mm -hmm. private and public okay. sector. Uh -huh. That our paychecks go down every year yeah. because, oh, sure. however, we make yeah. more money probably than our police department do in the private sector. But it does happen to everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably not that much of a difference. But I mean, Maybe some that. some people where I previously worked we didn't have braces for five years, yep. so that hit harder yes. because you didn't even have Five's a little bit offset. It, you know. Yeah. So I get it. I mean, yeah. it's not. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, 10% versus, you know, that's a big difference. Hmm. But, um, I don't know. But you certainly can't give them a 10% increase in pay. How is for their. No. I mean, no. You just. Yeah, to put it in perspective. Also go down single percentages rather than fives, you know. Yeah, yeah. As a start of this is what you need to be preparing for because of the costs of health insurance, you know. I mean, I mean on the other end, <coughs> it's a plan with a small copay and no deductible. That's that's huge. That's yeah. You know, not, again, not, mm -hmm. not many places out there. So, can you switch all those percentages back to where they were for a moment? All right, now let's step down. Do we do a, um, we do a two percent um, increase on um, on the percentages, or rather decrease rather on the employer oh, okay. contribution. In my mind, there are three options. You either leave it alone and you absorb the increase in the budget through general taxation. We either ask the employees to take a, a percentage cut or increase that up, or we leave it at status quo and we try to find um, other places in the budget that we can make reductions, if possible. Those, those are the options in my mind. There are other options for people that think of. Um, the other option is, is, is waiting to make her back from home. Well, I think we're going to do that anyway. For right. sure. But, um, but the, it's, it's probably not going to be a drastic difference, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a couple percentage. You know, yeah, it's going to be something. Have you ever considered bio? They did that at one time, right? They did that at one time. Why did you stop it? Because
because there was no one, the last person who was taking it left. And then as people came on board, it wasn't offered. It was just a board switch and a philosophy switch. And I don't think that it's in the, poli the personnel policy. I, I'm not sure if it is, which is not to say that you couldn't add it mm -hmm. or that we could check. I, I just, I don't. You mean I don't not to take the insurance? Yeah. So like, yeah, the school does it. I mean, they, yeah. you know, I, I don't know what they say. It's two thousand dollars not to take the plan. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you're if you take two thousand dollars and you're look at what you can be saving yeah. in the whole picture, that, and they can as well because they're not going to have it because they have another opportunity to get sure. it with a family uh, with a another spouse. Now we have single people that doesn't help them at all, or they're just right. not taking insurance and risking it. Um, but yeah. you know, lots of times it's more convenient. Do it because you're the maybe the primary breadwinner. I don't know, but I think sometimes people would really rethink it and compare plans and see mm -hmm. if it would make sense if you found another kind of compensation to do that. Um, it's just a thought. I think sometimes it does work. It might. It might. I'm just thinking. That um, if folks, if we're having folks move into a family plan, they, uh, they may not have an option to. Well, they may. I mentioned this to them. They, they, they may not have an option to um, do that. But yeah, I mean, the buyout might be enough to put them, to make it worth it to switch to the. Well, you also have to plan. look at the fact that we have a fairly nice Cadillac plan mm -hmm. here, where the other plan might have a copay or might have um, a deductible. But having that buyout, but having will, that buyout you will, will put that towards your copay and your deductibles, and you'll have a less per month charge. So that I think that's why buyouts are kind of um, people would look at them a little differently. I mean, if you're one single, you're not going to probably have an, any result with that because it's a single person, you know. Yeah. But it's more your two people, a two person in your family one. It's a possibility that they do have a spouse that. Um, how would we budget for that? We would think it would have to be part of your. Well, you probably have a, se a, a, a separate line all together, right? Um, yes. Well, I, I think it would make sense to put it in a separate line. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because you want to know how many people. You don't tell who it is, but you need to know how many people are in that so you can budget properly for it. And it also, it's just like, you know, maybe maybe we should take this survey if someone would be interested in so that. So you can. So I would say, to answer your question, you pick a dollar amount based on um, what premiums are costing, and, right. and, and it's just a flat offer. Yep. But if you do not take health insurance, this is... I'll find out from the school as well how much they, they I think we do want to make it an attractive number. Like, <coughs> even if it were two months of the... Well, it would be um, something... Well, administratively, for administrative purposes, I would hope that it would be something in every paycheck, like it would be divided into every paycheck. Um, so to my mind, if you're paying, you know, $1,800 a month for a plan, if they are getting $1,200 or something like that, that makes it cheaper. Like the $1,200 is multiplied by 12 for the year, divided by 26 payrolls, and um, part of their check that way. Mm -hmm. um, just because, um, that's how it would be dispersed. Or yes. Would, or distributed, rather. But you, would, but you would say, okay, we're going to give you, if you don't take the, the, the town offered insurance, we'll give you $2,000 mm -hmm. over the course of a year, or mm -hmm. 5000 whatever the max is. Whatever it is. Yeah. I don't know what it is. The yeah. track's going to do that. But, um, but then you could, but the, the understanding is that it would be divided yeah. over 12 months mm -hmm. or 26 pay period. Also, because if they leave, then they shouldn't be entitled to the sure. whole annual buyout. Right. Um, um, one of the things.
poll the employees and ask them if that's something that would interest them. That would be interested, and then we can come up with a plan to yeah. have a dollar amount. Yeah. Can we do that? Um, we can do that. I I would need for you to pick a dollar amount that I'm polling them about. Oh, you, you think well, you need unless, to know, or well, if you're at least even if you're interested in doing some kind of a buyback versus, you know, taking insurance because there may be nobody else that has. Nobody here that has another choice. What I would suggest right. is, you know, is the idea, you know, like a multi-question, <coughs> you know, are you interested in the idea, right. yes or no? Mm -hmm. Would you do it for this amount? Yeah. Would you do it for that yeah. amount? Okay. And then, and then, I don't yeah. want to waste our time trying to figure out all the budget or whether yeah. we should do it if there's no interest at all. So, well, that was my, yeah, that was my point. It may not be Or, or if the mass you're willing to do is just not appealing. Right. Right, right. So, so pick them, you know. Probably should, and it makes sense. Do you? So what are the? <coughs> excuse me. My only caution with putting a dollar amount in, giving them options as to whether or not they would do it for this, this, or that. You know, <laughs> your nature is always going to be, I'm only going to do it for the highest amount, right? So yeah. Which, well, you're right. You're quite right. Yeah. Well, that one could be multi. Yeah, like a scale of a bunch, and then let us give, give us a number of what you would consider to be a fair between the town and the employee. What it would be doesn't even have to honor it, and it just gives us an idea of where they're thinking, you know. Or we could just and leave a blank. An average of all of it. Fill in the blank for the amount of money that you decide that you know, rather than giving them a scale. Right, let them, them do it. Right, fill in, let them, and then we can look at them, and if one is here. And one an average of it, if we can afford that part of it. So if a family plan costs them, the town employee on average about 500, a little more than 500 a month, mm -hmm. if, if you were to incentivize that employee by saying, we will give you half of the monthly premium, um, a quarter of the monthly premium maybe, I'm thinking around Two or three, I wouldn't go any higher than three, but you know, two thousand dollars over the course of a year, we would um I probably should just figure this out first before I mumble and bumble about it. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks like that So if we said we will give you half of the monthly premium, and let's just say to round it off to two fifty a month, it's three thousand dollars over the course of a year. That would certainly save the town quite a bit of money uh, compared to uh, the town's share. That's saving about $20,000. Uh, $20, Even if you gave them just over what they pay, yeah. they're making out, right. potentially. Right. Right. And, you know, the town certainly is. That's maybe, maybe none of them would do it, but. Well, I was going to say, yeah, I was just going to qualify that. Yeah, yeah. so what happens if... Yeah, no, I would do how many, So we have eight employees that currently take town... All of your insurance. qualifying employees take some form. All of our qualifying employees? Yes. We only have eight employees that qualify... Correct. Okay. Qualifying is in full-time? Yes. And within a certain yes. time of employment? Yes, gotcha. Well, then that, that wouldn't be an issue then, obviously. That's good to know. There isn't another, once I'm on the license, I'll be sort of right, waiting right. Saying, oh, no, no, just kidding, I want insurance now. Mm -hmm. well, that's good to know, too. Okay. So let's leave, the, let's leave the percentages where they were, I guess, then. We'll ask the question of the employees. And then circle back um, at, uh, next Saturday, I guess, to see if we have come up with a solution. That. So, or Monday. I mean, I mean, we have, I can't let everybody answer that. Everybody on for Monday night. But all right. So one of the other sections I'd like. Are, do we, are folks okay with with what we're? Yeah.
recording does that also now. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't want to like, turn off the conversation if people want to keep talking about it. So, other section we need to look at is general assistance. That's another section that falls under the select board. That would be welfare and uh, community assistance organizations, grants to them. We have, um, why don't we skip community assistance? Unless you, ha you don't have all the letters do you have at the moment. Do you have um, no. Okay. Have we gotten any additional ones? Actually, there, there are additional ones if you want them. Um, do you have them handy where we could actually? Well, the food bank, the Nathan Nuts. We just sent those checks. We yeah. did, but those were always in the. But we have new solicitations for this year. Oh, yeah. for next budget year. Yeah. There's always new organizations. And what we've done in the past, uh, which does not mean we have to do it now. Everyone knows. We traditionally looked at organizations that provided information as to how they assist the Rollinson residents. Yep. So organizations that actually qualify, actually not Rollinson residents, but assisted by our organization. Yep. Is um, I'll go to the screen that compiles yep. these so Perfect. you can see. Okay. Um, there's some additional ones that have been okay. in this folder for a bit. Um, okay. So like, like CAP ha has um, That would be my, my always my first No, I was going to say, so just so folks understand So like CAP, and I'll obviously let you all look at the other letters But provided $61,956 in services to 46 households in all And so that's something we can actually Quantify, right? So when we say, oh, we're going to give cap a thousand dollars or whatever, there's a reason behind it. Um, okay. There will be an additional one, which is a new one. Uh, you know, there, there will be. There's a request coming um, that is a new request to the town, which includes um, a request for the current year, um, which is. The homeless shelter in Rochester. Yeah, the new one, the new homeless shelter. Yeah. yeah. And all right, hold on, hold on to that for just a second. So we'll try and pass the video off the haven. Okay, so cap, we can't cap. I should have waited. <laughs> so they're all in front of us. So I just grab them. So we have all the yeah. So Meals on Wheels provided twenty nine thousand dollars. Direct assistance to the Rollinsford residents. What are we doing? $100. It's on the right. They're not, they, they were not, they weren't part they of it. They weren't one. You just started that. Yeah, we had. You added yeah, it. We approved it this year, and then, but we should continue to do it. Mm -hmm. And some of these have, um, have combined, right? Some yes. So I was so. going to suggest that we um, change this, you know, the, the first and last have combined. So I was going to suggest we correct the name and combine the amount, which matches their request. Sorry. Did you look at this one already? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is the board okay with that? Yeah, just for, yeah, we haven't made a decision yet. Yeah, right. I mean, the, the one organization. Just yeah. for, um, The home increase has been uh, absorbed by Easter Seals. Yes. Did we receive a request from homemakers to? Uh, yeah, there was. I think it was um, we deferred on. I didn't see it in there. No. Which doesn't yeah. mean you know. We. Um, we did. Because uh, there was a PO. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a PO. Oh, it was um, the disbursement form. Disbursement. Yes, that's yes, the, yeah, the yeah. Um, I, yeah, I didn't. Um, that was not their request. So that was just what we had budgeted. So they have not sent us a letter <coughs> saying, uh, which doesn't mean they won't. Sometimes they come in late. Right. Right. I suspect they're. Well, they do their big call. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Um, coming it up. So, the thing mm -hmm. about this category is that these organizations
organizations help in ways that is not really necessarily visible. And sometimes in their request letters, they give yeah. information, like Michael just said, about how much money and how many residents mm -hmm. and, and things like that. Um, we don't get that from all of them. Community action is the one that I work with most often and directly, in addition to the food pantry. Um, <coughs> Not to say not to help these organizations. The, the, other, the other one is um, Share Fund, which we do not contribute to, but does help our residents um, from my office. I direct people to Share Fund, and they help people. Have they made, have they made direct solicitations to us, have they? For no. Assistance Share Fund? No. But what they give or, or assist our residents in saves us from having it come out of our general right. yes. um, welfare budget. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, the request that's coming in for the homeless shelter, um, they are, she reports, the director reports, $20,000 short in their current budget, in their current fiscal year. So they are approaching that by trying to um, get the 10 contributing towns to each donate $2,000. Yeah. Do they have all your residents in that? So we don't get reports about that, and we're supposed to get reports about that. And so um, my, I, I called her to discuss it because I was concerned that it wasn't population-based. Right. And right. I thought, you know, the board typically is, yep. you know, in such a situation would want it dispersed sure. more equitably by population because yep. we're small. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't really, she was not very receptive to that because every community that she speaks to wants her to handle this shortfall in a different way. Right. Um, so her request is for $2,000, which you'll see is more than any other organization. Right. Um, her, her point is that she, they provided 50 bed nights last year. Um, for Rollinsford residents? For Rollinsford <coughs> residents. Okay. And that, it, that at their discounted rate would have been $2,500, um, and at the rate that they actually um, require to operate would have been considerably more than that. So that's how she's justifying $2,000, even though we're small. So my problem, my problem with that is that if we are having someone from our town going and saying about the list, we should be notified. Yeah. And so we should be able to know and not get hit with a $2,000 yes. bill Without any yes, you know, the alternative though is a motel, which is certainly going to be more than oh, yeah. fifty dollars a night that she's approximately trying to. I wouldn't have had a problem doing it if we were advised that it happened when it happened. You know, because there could have been some other things that we could have done possibly to relocate to a. Less which is why it's policy and it's supposed to happen. But yeah. we're not alone in that, and it's not the only shelter that struggles to stay compliant right. in that regard. But the thing is, we don't know truly if it was someone from Rollinsford. We don't know if, if we ever had any Rollinsford taking their word from it, because they're not giving us names and dates. And, and well, and because people say that they're from wherever they're from, but really they were couch surfing for two months, which yes. doesn't necessarily mean that we would consider them our resident. You know, right. Typically three months in a location not being a form of homeless as mm -hmm. couch surfing is mm -hmm. considered. So um, that's why it's really important to be notified at the time so mm -hmm. that we can assist in other ways, but right. also be aware, you know, ascertain for ourselves residency. Because a lot of times they get deferred to other people because they're not really residents of where they say they are. Mm -hmm. It's more of a confirmation, too, that they are on our books as a resident or whatever. You know, at this, I think they, you know, well, they're probably taking everyone who's part of their region and just dividing it. Yes, by those, and not because necessarily that's what because they don't know 100% that that's it's our residence. If it is, I mean, we wouldn't want to pay it. But I just have a hard time that it wasn't followed by the village. What would happen if we didn't pay the $2,000 and we gave them a stipend that was less? Um, less? I don't know. I don't know at what point they would become upset. Um, but they could not take our residence, which would increase hotel costs. Oh, for decades. They're seasonal. Oh, okay. It's, it's the 
seasonal one. Yeah. They close in the summer. Yeah, there was talk of a, of a, of a year round one. I'll catch up that. It's not, that's not the same one. They, they, uh, it may be the same one. They talk all the time about extending right. its season and making it year round because it's not. Well, they have 50 people, okay. 50 bed nights. 50 bed nights. Couldn't which could be one person for 50 nights. Right, sure, of course. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't yeah. know. I mean, I get that. Or, right. yeah, we yeah, we yeah. struggled, I have to be careful how we talk about this. We struggled with a case, <laughs> a welfare case for a considerable amount of time, a couple of them, for a considerable amount of time. And I can't say too much more, actually. I don't think in this room. I guess I'm just trying to think of where they were when we when we needed them. Then. I guess I could think well, of that. they're they're part of the conglomerate that we. I feel like we with. send a lot more people down to Portsmouth. Yeah. So there's a lot that goes into that question: how shelters manage people and case right. management and move them on, or and what their bed capacity is, yeah. and whether or not they take more singles. Or I want to support or, this organization if they're supporting our residents because. It's going to be a lot cheaper for us to give them $2,000 than put them, uh, 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 folks up in a, I'm going to just say, yeah, thank you. I'm just thinking of something, a much more descriptive way to describe some of the places they've gone to, but that would be, that'd be a, a five star compared to some of the places mm -hmm. people have gone to. A hotel up in Rochester, like I said, are gone. It's a lot more expensive to do that, right? So I don't yes. want to cut off our nose and split our face, but again, if we, we need info, right? So I have no problem whatsoever giving money to CAP because they, 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 they qualify and quantify what they've given to residents in the town. And well, and I see info. it through my experience. Right? Yeah. Seeds of Faith, we know because they sent us a report. I don't know if they've gotten it yet, but we get one from them and we know that they're in our town. We know that. And what because they're, they're in our town, I, you know, again, I know because I, you know. We send a lot of people there. down there. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Cornerstone DNA does the same thing. They send us a report. I don't know if we've gotten it yet, but they provide, uh, especially hospice care, for mm -hmm. folks in this town. I get that. Although I don't know, and the homemakers was, was a thing that offered those services, um, but we haven't gotten anything yet, so I don't know. I just, I'm keeping this um, this information in print just for my own sure. information for now. It will go away. All right, so I want to... Um, I personally, I'm just one member, want to give money to Meals on Wheels yes. on an ongoing basis. I think they're, they're a very worthwhile endeavor that is serving quite a few people, and it's elderly people mostly, but mm -hmm. uh, there are other folks that are in need assistance in our elderly that get meals from them. But, and these are, these are folks that may not have anybody else going to their home. Mm -hmm except this one time a day when the Meals on Wheels person stops them to deliver their meal. Um, so the, the safety checks, I mean, they're involved, I mean, there's a lot that, yeah. it's not just, oh, here's your meal, I'll no, no, no. There's, the drivers know who they are. Right, so I, I know one personally. So I, what are they asking for? So, <laughs> three for a loop. So they're, they're asking for a thousand dollars. So I'll set this up. Doesn't mean we have to give them a thousand. Meals on wheels. Next year. Meals on wheels. For next year. For next year. Okay. okay. So we're talking about a mix of this year <coughs> and next year. So um, this, I, um, this is all 2019. Even though it doesn't say that, we can fix that. Oh, okay. Um, that I apologize. Nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not. Retroactively, you're in them, I hope. The only note was the Meals on Wheels because it wasn't part of this. I okay. just put stuff that in there so you'd know what you did. Mm -hmm. So, let's just, so that's an increase of what, $1,000? What would be $8,000 now? If we left, if all things stayed the same. You'd have to address the, uh, the Rogers Brand, though. Right.
So your level, because we haven't put anything on meals and meals. Okay. Well, I was gonna say give you eleven thousand dollars in extra. Okay. Get that cash what they've asked for. So. Okay. So we're talking about eight thousand. So we've already cut in years past. We've already cut rental assistance back because we weren't using that full amount because we're doing a much better job at. Um, Regulating um, how we give out assistance than we, we did years ago uh, when people would just come to select board members individually <coughs> and ask for assistance. That's how it was dealt with. So that's good. We're sort of streamlining that. But I don't know if we can cut back much more. But I don't know if it's in our best interest to do that. Personally, so it looks like we're on track to spend that budget this year. Um, I, I would say. Um, no, not, you know, there will be money, well, so you never know, you can't forecast it. We're heading into the colder months, which right. means there will be fuel assistance mm -hmm. requests. Oh, okay, that's, um, that's good enough, that's okay. Yeah. Yes, it, yeah, well, it goes into the utilities budget, which is 2250 which we've spent 400 of, which was one request, by the way, um, because propane's expensive, when people have propane. Um, the rental, ex the, the rental assistance is not a lot of cases, um, and I am coming to the board for um, one request Monday night, but um, you just don't know. It's not very, it's, it's been slow, except for um, a small number of expensive situations. And you could have you know. a, someone come in, in December and, and say, I can't pay my rent. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. You never know what's going to happen. Or whatever. You know, statistically, I'd say it's unlikely and you'll get money back, but you just don't know. So we, we've, we've rolled the dice and, and reduced over the years. So at one time we went we, we, at 27000 for appropriation and we've reduced down to twenty one five, which is not a huge amount of money. But um, in this line it is because you never know what you're going to get. It's kind of like a, on the school side when they try to budget the special ed. Mm -hmm. You never know what... Yeah. yeah, one case cost you four hundred thousand yeah. dollars, right? Yeah. Or you could spend nothing for a year. That one moves in and you don't out. know, yeah. right? So yeah. this is the same sort of thank God it hasn't been kind of eleven out of that level yet for us, but you don't know. So I would caution about reducing that. So which brings me back to what I was gonna say to begin with. Was Increasing this line. If we look at the other line, are we willing to increase by a thousand? Or are there other organizations that we don't feel are providing us the right amount of money and information and we can either zero out the appropriation or reduce the appropriation? And they're all worthwhile, so yeah. I'm not trying to say they're not. Um, they're requested for a thousand. If we if we committed to say five hundred and we had some wiggle room at the end of the year. Can we give them another 500? If we had some other You can budgets. do that now. You, you can, can do, do that. that yeah. With, yeah, you know, you, you always have bottom line authority. But right. Somebody, like you did with Meals on Wheels, if right. request came in and you dealt with it yeah. because you felt you could. Because if we had, you know, if we had, I, it just, I think it's a wonderful program and I think that people are definitely benefiting from it and their costs are going up just like everyone else's is. So. I would like to see that we can give that to them. I just think it's a big hit in one year. You know, if we could, but. Um, it's always been the philosophy of the board that the community organization disbursements wait until later in the year because mm -hmm. if the assistance budget is otherwise out of control, it takes from that it its own line that. first. Yeah. you look into other parts of the budget with other groups, they're, they're town organizations, so, but I'd rather give, I'd rather give that extra $500 to Meals on Wheels personally than say like Winter Rec. Winter Rec is a wonderful concept that never happens. Um, we spent $210 last year out of our, and that was basketball, I think, to pay for the referees. Um, it wasn't for referees, it was for, um, because the school is, there's um, school liability and permission
pollution issues around using the gym and having the custodian there and all that. that, oh, they've that? Okay. It's basic. So it became a different thing, and that okay. came for that was a direct reimbursement for people paying to participate in Summer's Breath program. Oh, okay. Technically, couldn't get it to work here in Right. The basketball program. Yeah. Right. So they were, so Summer's Breath opened it up to them right. to come and do it, and that was their registration or whatever fee right. is. Right. Yeah. yeah. But the, the idea was that for Winter Rec before was the, it was mostly going to go for the ice rink right yeah. down at the fire station. Yeah. That uh, I think it was wonderful. Opportunity for folks, but well, I don't know. Volunteer based. It's volunteer based, and um, those volunteers that were gung ho over the first couple of years, you know, got busy, and yeah. I get it. I mean, you know, lives change, so and priorities have to change. But um, I don't know. I just, there are other places in the budget yeah. that I would feel comfortable about cutting five hundred dollars exactly. yeah. to, to give mm -hmm. public uh, meals on this. I just. It, I don't have any skin in that game I don't, mm -hmm. I, I, that I know of, thank goodness. But um, I, I just, I just know that, uh, I just know that um, to the people that do receive these meals, I mean, they're not getting, it's, they're not getting anything else. So uh, they need this assistance. And it's fair to say, I mean, they are paying a percentage of the cost of it as well. The people who are receiving this program, mm -hmm. so they're paying. putting yeah. a little bit of right. it themselves, okay. right. you know, so it's not like it's giving them free meals for oh, yeah, all yeah, yeah. No, year. No, 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 I don't mean to sound like that. No, yeah, no, 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 I'm just supporting it. It's the same. Yeah, they, they, are, they, are, they are putting as much as they possibly can in, and then, right. you know, so, they just need so help. So if, if we budgeted $1,000 for them, they're, they're feeding 16 people with 62 a person. A year. year. For a year. Suggesting there's a will from the board to change the winter rec line? No, I'm just, not yet. I mean, we haven't got there yet. We're, 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 right. we're, 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 we're not going to talk about rec until on Monday. Okay. I mean, we could talk about certain parts of the rec line. I mean, but like the summer day camp, summer team camp, and payroll tax, and I mean, are sort of off the table, right? We could talk about the other That's lines if we want to. Yeah. I mean, the senior program, what did we put in? $300? I, I have no objection to keeping that, but I don't know what we. If we ever did anything with that. Well, there, there is no money expended. I don't know if there Sorry. were other efforts okay. that didn't cost money. But. I mean, there are there are efforts on, like, sort of this, well, it doesn't seem like it doesn't say there's any expenditure, but there have been now. But yeah, this is Q3 um, but expenses. But we know there's activity going on. I don't know, better way for me to phrase this, I don't know if there's any activity going on uh, around a senior program line. Um, not any, financially. Uh, I mean, I'm not opposed to having, I think that's also worthwhile. I mean, we provide assistance for, um, for kids. I think we should certainly be doing it for, for, for the senior team as well. So I know this was a, an idea of, of an individual in town. Maybe we should reach out to that individual again and see if there's still interest. But we can hold that. I mean, this one's already got it. So it's not 500 for Stanley Fund Day. <laughs> I said it last year when she wasn't sitting here, so I think that it's, um... We're trying. No, I, yeah, I mean, really this year is. was the, yeah. the best it's been. I mean, it gets better and better every year, yeah. so it was a little shorter this time, and maybe that was the rest, that was the secret formula, maybe it's the, it the shorter is. time, but, you know, it's a, it was a nice family day for people to come out, and there were a lot of, there were folks that didn't have kids with them that came out, um, seniors that came out, too, not just for the fireworks, but for the dinner, too. It was nice, it was a nice time. Um, so, but winter wreck. So I guess we should talk about that now. Uh, just, did, oh, did we sorry. finish up top in general assistance? So rent, nothing changed, food? Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's okay. No, we didn't. I was I, I, gathering brain to skip ahead, sorry. So, but my suggestion was that not to change any of that. I'm okay. sorry. I'm, yep. I'm not the final arbiter. Oh, we are going to put 1,000 into Meals on Wheels? Yeah. That's what, okay. That was the one thing I suggested. Now, what so, 
so now you can see that that cell is yellow, indicating that it's a calculated cell from the other sheet where it's totaled and included. Okay. So it's up 1,000 from the H column, um, which is the current year budget. So what are you going to do about the Rochester shelter? Is that this year? They are asking for $2,000 now, yes. although she hasn't gotten me the letter. And then I am anticipating that's a request going forward as well. But I don't have the letter yet. None of this, well, I would say, none of this is final. <coughs> Until it's final, right? So, mm -hmm. so we say that the vote, we're, we're sending this off to the budget committee. So I'm comfortable with leaving it where it is now. And then coming back to the well, see, what Caroline just said it kind of confuses me a little bit because I thought it was based on the, on the expenses that occurred this year. So I know it was this year. So why would we then again have to do it next year? That's great. But, you know, if there was an any experience that we had, um, this Alice is a standard. You know. Well, you know, the other thing is we don't we don't fund any other homeless shelters. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, it should be coming out of rental assistance line, right? Because we don't fund any other homeless shelter in the county or the tri-county area, the bi-county area. Um, so, we could fund it out of that line at the end of the year if there's money, yeah. but, and then you can consider other... Well, because it's $2,000 well. we're asking for now, or for actual, uh, we're assuming, for actual nights, yes. for 50 nights, right? If, if... Um, Crossroads. Crossroads. Crossroads House called and said, you've got a family of 27, let's just say that that's absurd, um, that stayed the, for three months. This is the rate that we charge, and you know it, and you knew those people were there because you helped place them. We wouldn't be taking it out of the community assistance organization line. We'd be taking it out of the rental system, right? So why wouldn't we be doing that for, for the for the shelter in Rochester? That <coughs> But that only takes care, care of this year's bill. Right. What you're suggesting, Caroline, is that they're going to be asking for a stipend every year moving forward, not that based was on the sense I got not based on actual from. usage, just on yeah. a stipend, and then, and then the way that you fund these other organizations, yes, like that. Oh, but that's not what we do for any other homeless shelter. Correct. So. So. No. And well, I'm not say. convinced that they are our um, most frequent shelter of, of you know, they, That's why I was confused. And, 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 but about it's hard to know because they don't the report time. really well. Right. So, and they don't keep good statistics and, you know. I think you know. we should write them a letter and say that we cannot support your request unless you tell us, for, for next year, unless you tell us exactly what it is because our budget process is in going ongoing right now. We can't, we have to know and how to justify why we're doing it. Um, and, and explain, if we have to, that we don't pay other shelters. We pay actually. We actually no, use no. at the time, not we, because we actually, went over your budget. But we don't pay other shelters at all, even for usage. I thought we haven't. No, thought we we, we've paid, I thought, Crossroads House in the past. No. There was the expectation that we may have to yes. pay? That's oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, okay. So they Fine. kind of reserve the right. Okay. Um, and they are the best at notifying us, yes. which is not to say perfect. Mm -hmm. um, but nobody has sent us a bill for Today. Shelter's Day. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but, I, you know, just, they have, I think they have to notify us once they're having something to say that says they're from our town. When within a week of of them being in there, because we have to account for that. Yeah. But if we are going to do it, I think you're right. It needs to be um, the uh, rental assistance, rental assistance. Um, and not as a community um, assisting organization. So there, so there's two separate issues, and I didn't understand that, so I apologize. It's okay. It was for the actual use for this year versus ongoing assistance, and that's where I guess I was. Well, and it's the one shelter versus the two other shelters um, that serve our residents theoretically just as equally or perhaps more, more frequently. Exactly. And we don't know who serves us more. Right. 
we know who reports best. Well, well, also if we'd known that they had somebody from here, we could have replaced or, or sent them to another location if we could have had a spot somewhere else. But, but they may not have known if they went there. Well, well, so sort of, kind of, yes, no. Um, okay. Community action um, does intake. Like to, to be, you know, you can call 211 or you can call community action or you can call local welfare, which will all direct you toward calling community action, which they keeps a central right. list. Oh, okay. And then depending on whether you're, you know, depending on um, gender, whether or not you've been expelled from any shelters, whether your family, how many people you are, um, you get prioritized or, or segregated appropriately on the list and then they disperse to separate shelters. However, okay. that doesn't count the people who just walk into a shelter and say, I'm homeless. Okay. You know, who kind of skirt the list and may or may not get dealt with on the spot, you know. Got it. Okay. And those folks that are just walking, you could say, I'm from Rollins, but mm -hmm. whether they really are or not, mm -hmm. who knows? Mm -hmm. But again, if they go in and they're walking in the door and they're not placed by another Or well, you, or right? no matter who walks in the door, they are supposed to always inform local welfare yeah. of, of that. Um, it's just, you know, I don't know if it's their own staffing issues or, if, you know, they've just got process problems, but um, none of them report consistently or well or promptly or, you know. It's hard for cities and towns who have a very tight budget to come up with these extra funds that you haven't planned for. Right. Yes. But my suggestion would be we need to, we will, we will discuss and deal with the separate billing issue for the current year as, as part of the mm -hmm. Monday night meeting. Yep. We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. But as far as going forward, we haven't, have we actually received anything, we haven't received anything in writing asking for for next year, mm -hmm. so I'm not including it in this year's budget, in the, in the coming year's budget until we, I'm not even going to think about it anymore until we, we get that request. So I, I wouldn't go any higher than 8000 at the moment. But I'm just one member. So I, no, if you all want to do it a different way, we can. So, But I would suggest that we not change the um, rental assistance, food, or utilities uh, line. I would just suggest if we revisit this conversation in the future that you just not treat one shelter separately from how you would treat another shelter. Right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And you're comfortable with these numbers? They could always be greater. Um, I have my favorite organizations, but I, you know, I don't have a problem with those numbers. But I think you're talking about the rental yeah, food and utilities. Oh, the rental, um, you never know. You never know. We could go back to what the budget was before. You know, it is like special ed where you just don't know what kind of residents you're going to have. Um, I, 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 I would say um, keep it what it is and, and hope for the best. Because okay. I think we're good this year. We've been good for a few years mm -hmm. running. So, you know, there's a, just like winter, there could always be the you know extraordinary storm, the extraordinary winter. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. The only thing I would caution us on, there are a number of properties for sale in the village, one of which is a foreclosure on what is it, 4th Street behind us. And there's one, I think it's about 4th Street actually, and the other one is just for sale. It's also multifamily. Depending on, on who purchases them, we could be back into a situation where they become dependent upon town welfare and the individual renting. For years, Ed used to talk about how Second Street was sort of the, the welfare capital of Ross. I mean, it was just very transient. Mm -hmm. And then when it became condos, um, that stopped. Mm -hmm. um, my, my fear is that if there's a multi, two multifamilies for sale, who knows? than uh, kind landlords. You never know what's going to happen. So I just want to be careful that we, we, we always keep that in mind. I mean, I think the dynamic, I think, for the most part, 
live in the village, although you never know. It change, but um, depending on the national economy, too, things could change again. So. Couldn't you put more But we, we were lower than that, weren't we, the test? You the had, test. I think, adjusted it to be otherwise. So we, we could go up a little more. We could go up to 1%. You're right. So we needed to. I don't yeah. think we were there at that point. But so. It's still calculated at 1%. You can change, you know, because it's a formula, you can change the percentage. Mm -hmm. Or you can make it a flat other amount. But that's your cap there as well, too. But. So for. 17 and 18, we didn't use 1%, we went lower, right? Um, or was it just, we, within that year, we moved things around, is that what it was? So, column A, I, if you're referring to I, contingency's been dispersed to other, it's been rebudgeted no, to other. No, I look at H and D. Okay. Um, Isn't that 17 and 18? They're much lower because of um, increases to certain lines, and particularly road maintenance getting um, absorbed into operating. So that was okay. But right. they were one percent. They were okay. All right. Who who dictated the one percent? No more than one percent of the operating budget. I think it's is a. It the same I think it is. Oh really? Yeah. Is something that changed. I can look into it. Like where did it come from? Okay. Well, but before we move too far away, going into contingency, what's not? So are we? We're set with a general system then. Any other suggested changes or increases, decreases? If not, let's keep them where they are. Um, we started in on parks and rec a little bit. Um, we were fine with keeping senior and Sam and Falls, Family Fun Day, where they were, those two lines. Mm -hmm. And winter rec, do we want to consider any cuts there? Can we wait to hear from rec before we do anything? Sure, yep, yeah, fair okay. enough. So if you all have different plans. Legion got absorbed into that, purpose. and it can go away um, mm -hmm. because that really is what patriotic. Yeah, I was just going to say that. So we um, we combined them because uh, we bought bunting, I think, for the front of the building here too mm -hmm. at one time. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's easy to put into one line. So I, I don't want to. Not the entire one thousand doesn't go to the, the flags of the cemetery, so, and that's not to complete them up with the Legion. They pay, we pay a portion of their invoice. They right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not the full amount. So it's just part of it. So I'm fine with uh, just keeping it where it is. But, but. Uh, Conservation Commission, can you be okay with keeping mm -hmm. okay. Conservation Commission, um, okay. uh, fine with keeping it where it is. Overexpending that slightly this year. Yeah, uh, they, they they want to do note cards. We're selling them, so they'll make the money back, but it's going to go over. How much was that? It goes something like one hundred and seventy dollars over. Go so that much? Or one hundred and twenty-five, mm -hmm. something like that. Not, what not is two. the purpose of this money? <laughs> I mean, is it for the general fund and let them then operate out of? I don't quite understand what. It does. It it, it does. Um, Moving forward, because they have a, a new fund that they're saying, "Let's put money in." It was, it was uh, had them have some seed money so they could do um, presentations to the town mm -hmm. um, to sell uh, whatever they're doing postcards now, note cards now to just sort of to raise awareness of the town, the history and the culture of the town. So. Do they have other fundraising opportunities, or is it yeah. just this fund? Why would we pay more than what 
they have more in their fund than $300. Right, Caroline? They have, that was just the appropriation for this year. They've raised money already. Mm -hmm. So they bought post, they bought note cards. Mm -hmm. um, certainly went over the $300. Um, there is a rolled over amount. Uh -huh, already in there, so. Um, Where's the revenue going to pay off the note cards? Is it going to Robinson Town? It goes into the um, historical, you know, historical fund. So this is confusing to me. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, if if it's a if it's a donation to the fund yeah. for them to use as they please, then that's all they should be getting is three hundred dollars. Right. right. But if it's going to be four hundred and whatever, why? So because this was the first year that they had an actual fund. The, the, disturb, the disbursement really should be coming out of that fund, right? They should have done, instead of doing a PO, they should have asked for a disbursement, right? To pay back the, the whatever. Or the difference. The difference well, the so year. I can talk to Tom about that. Theoretically, the purchase of the note cards and all the income can come from that fund, and then the $300 can be a donation to that fund, much like the $100 to conservation yeah. is, right. is a donation to that. So the, it, it, so when, when she says they spent over three hundred dollars, they did, but it's not necessarily coming out of the, the, the town of general funds. I think they did too though. Yeah. Okay, okay. If that's the if that's the case, if they're taking overage from the fund that they had in there. Right. This then, is the first year that we've had this fund. So okay. So they aren't this this isn't gonna show as an overspent line. We'll see. I, I wanna to talk to the auditor right. about okay. the rules of this fund. It may, but it's they've also before this past year, when the town meeting established this fund, so they could roll over money, mm -hmm. we had they had money that would just go into the general fund. What was it? it was the, it was the they, Agnes they sold? I don't even know. It was like twenty-five to thirty-two hundred dollars. It was something in that yeah, range so. that's yeah. just sitting in um, encumbered fund balance for them because the fund had not been created, but yeah. it was donated with an intent. So that has to be. Respected and so he rolled it over, but it was not um, the clean thing to do. Mm -hmm. right. So now we do have a cleaner way to do it. So because we'll Breck is thinking about starting or having one of the um, so if it wasn't this year, but if the event that there is, it can apply towards the next year's event right. instead of going to offset taxes. Um, here. Yeah, we just have to be really careful about how the article is written so that the permissions desired are authorized in that article. Yeah, yeah. But it's something that we had talked about, so I just want to make sure I understand if, if this does happen um, as well, that that could help future years with rec. Yeah. You know? Uh, anyway, okay. Okay. And then when we were through that. What is the industrial? Industrial commission? Um, I don't know what Edo is insisting on keeping the line open with a dollar. Well, if there was an industrial commission, yeah. you know, um, if it is really a commission, I, I would wonder if that was authorized at a town meeting at one point, and you could maybe discern from the minutes of that meeting what the right. intent of the commission is, and resurrect it if there was will or, you know, yeah, more. Yeah, okay. um, and then maybe our committee, $100, mm -hmm. and I would suggest we probably want to do that, because we'll yeah. another round of BRAC coming. Soon, I'm sure. Hmm. Uh, all right. So that's, and I think that's the end of the lines. Let me double check again. So we have um, oh reevaluation. Uh, did we talk about that one already? No. We haven't heard anything from the NYC either. Or ambulance. Correction. Oh yes, we have. Yeah. We have. Okay. Um, so ambulance is going to be thirty-six thousand, um, going up from thirty-two. Hold on, hold on. We just, did get something in writing on that. I know that you. No, did. there's nothing in writing yet. Oh, okay. That was a, That's why he said it was a possibility. It right? was a phone call. That's what yeah. they think they're going to do, but their board still has to approve it. So right. I can plug it in as a placeholder. Yeah. Um, but, um, and the fire chief would be in favor of keeping it for an up to two
two-year contract if it stayed at that amount for two years. Okay. Uh, okay. There it is. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Page nine. Bottom page. Bottom page. There. So, um, so 36, you said? Mm -hmm. 36 and change or the 36? 36. Okay. And we'll see when we get it in writing. Um, so I was talking to the fire chief about this contract, and um, he would recommend to the board that you ask for a revision in language so that they have to provide periodic statistics for how many times, you know, how many calls they receive. Sure in a quarter, monthly, something, because we're not currently receiving that information. Okay. Um, Mark, can you get that from dispatch? I don't know exactly what dispatch's role is with that, but um, remember, this was um, the organization that was really affected by the kerfuffle between South Berwick going yes. to Sanford yep. and all that. So yep. that may have complicated things. Um, but that aside, York should be keeping track of that data too. So I don't know, you know. Um, but there are fixed place requests. There's, yeah. there's um, management of the ambulance contract and the service could be a lot tighter. And um, the board ought to consider what is proper oversight and whether that should rest in an elected position or an employed position right. because it's an essential service and it's not really receiving a whole lot of direct oversight. Now, previously it used to be the police chief, not the fire chief, right? Uh, he is the emergency He's management emergency coordinator. Management oh, coordinator. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I mean, so oh, just, yeah, 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 but it, I mean, fire doesn't go to every call. Police does. They are now, I think Mark said, right? No. Big, they uh, don't go to a, well, they only go if it's, well, Mark is the proper person to ask, but my understanding is they only go if they need to have, um, like it's a heart attack or, I mean, if it has a cut finger, they're not going. You know, uh, if it's, you know, something very small and simple, they don't get toned out. It's only if one if they think you need um, lift assisting with multiple people because they don't have very many people on the ambulance or definitely car accidents and you know that kind of stuff. But police go to everything, I believe. So in the past it was the police chief that's one. I believe it was. I believe it was under the jurisdiction of the police chief. Not that it shouldn't be under both or or, or either one. Or I mean because one something. is just I mean they both have in my opinion a, a stake in so, this. So when Harry was chief he didn't he didn't control the Department. I mean, that, yeah, that's not the <laughs> Freudian slip, I guess. He did not but control the uh, ambulance, no. Huh. That was under the police department. Yeah. I mean, they, hmm. they interacted. Oh, I'm sure they did. Stuff, yeah, but seems, they, he did not, you know. It just seems they go hand in hand to me the other way around. Yeah, yeah. Now the way you're describing it, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Well, I don't, okay. You can talk to Bobby, because I think he was, he's been the police chief throughout that process. Well, he was when Harry was chief, so and right. he would. And so, I'm not being wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty certain that it was always under. And I think it's because it was the emergency management that was under police. Well, but also having right. somebody who's employed managing a contract makes a lot more sense than an elected official. Well, it's time. You know, it's, it's availability it's, and all it, those yes. kind of things. I mean, hmm. Mark can be available, but may not be. It, times that they can be available versus right. the police department's there, you have someone there all every day for 40 hours a week, you know. Well, you're, you're not funding fire availability, right. really. Right, right. I got you. Okay, so the bottom line, though, is the 36000 is what we've been told, an increase of $4,000? Yes, which is not real until it's real, but right. we can plug it in. Okay. But, you know, I mean, Um, we go back to um, 
reevaluation from him, John. exactly this last time around. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, I have to wonder if we didn't know ahead, you know, five years in advance what exactly that number was, you know, because it just <coughs> worked out way too perfectly. Mm -hmm. An approximation, right? So it was, what, 70,500? That sounds right. That's all. Okay. All right, so yeah, we need to, we didn't put anything in for 18 because we were spending it in 18. Now we need to put it in for 19. At the very least, we want to look at what we put in yearly before 2017 and do that again. Okay. That's part of the plan for a percentage increase. I would ask. Do we have it on there? Uh, I'm sorry. What do you? What do you? Oh, so, well, my suggestion was we need to, at the very least, for the reevaluation, put in what we were putting in previously, and then we, I'm sure there will be an increase. What the percentage is, I do not know, but at the very yeah, least, it's going to be budgeting. Five years, it's going to go up. Of course, right? Five, ten, twenty percent, whatever it is. I don't. But we should at least be planning on the last budget and yeah. not for the last year that we that we put in for all the next year. And then we can revisit um, um, capital projects. Anything else on the budget we want to talk about today? So the, the debt service is, is what it is. It um, well, it does change it does according change to whatever the payment schedule is. I need to visit the payment schedule and plug in appropriate numbers for next year. So there are numbers there. Um, one of which is different, and I'm thinking because Suzanne plugged it in looking at the schedule, but I would want to verify okay. that. But it's not something that we're able to No, you can't right. control it. It's going to be whatever right. it's going to be. Anything else you want to talk about today? I'll give you a second. I'm not, I'm not going to rush it. So this what we've plugged in for everything we know. That we know up to this point. We're right. still waiting to hear the presentation from the fire department and rec. Yes. And explanations from the town clerk, right? On uh, a few lines that she was going to yes. talk about. She will she be in, in on um, and you asked um, Bob to come in, who's going to come in anyway. But, so we'll just have a, we, we, we had a few follow-up questions. Yeah, questions so he'll be in as well. Yeah, okay. Um, Damn. Is, is tax collector coming in? No. What was the, what were the follow-up question we had for her? I don't remember. Um, you oh. wanted to talk about the mailway service. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. 
So. I'm hesitant to say more in public about that situation and her coming to speak with the board. Okay. Can we go with them, please? Or what will it be? It's a workshop. So we can talk about it Monday night if, you know, we can go into non public. For a first membership? Personal issue or is it a, is it a budgetary issue? So I'm not going into non public session. No, 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 not at no. It would be personnel. Okay. Um, Don't say anything more. That's the yeah. personnel issue. We'll talk about it. Okay. okay. All right. Do we have anything else to talk about this morning? I don't want to keep us here just to hang out. I don't like hanging out with you, sir. Let's hang out. What is our plan about going forward for um, preparing for? Oh, board, uh, thank you. That's another thing we're supposed to talk about today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I put my mind. Let's go. Can you pull up to that that section there um, in the budget? Let's talk about that. You're right. I... So I'm while we are. A cold, so I'm sorry. I thought. I... There. All right. So. While you are looking and preparing for next year, mm -hmm. I want to reiterate concerns about this year because yep. um, all these budget questions require time to research, which were typically not handled by my office. Mm -hmm. And I am putting aside some things that I need to not put aside in order to be ready for the audit in January. I didn't run checks last week. Due to the holiday, I typically would, but I ran out of time, which caused an issue with a vendor. We're, we're getting consequences, and they're going to snowball. Okay. I've got 18 checks and not payroll checks. Go ahead. Correct. Is there a way to get you immediate help with those sorts of things? I don't know what the clerical support line is. You, um, there's room in that line t for more hours than would be expended by the person who's using them. Um, she works as many hours as she's going to work, oh. so there's no expansion of her time. But you can use, you can reallocate that money, or, or you know. So do we think we have? Um, do we have someone in mind, or, or do we think we can find someone? quickly to uh, work additional hours? I do not have someone in mind. Okay. I think we should post it. Okay. Broadly. Can you step back just a bit? Mm -hmm. Our plan is, my assumption is our plan is that we are going to go forward with um, creating either Only a town manager, manager has to go. Manager oh, only manager, manager right. has to go. Right. So we have made that decision which direction we're going to go, probably. And then we can plan for it. Okay. So then, knowing that, that person is taking on, that person would be taking on a lot more responsibilities, which requires to have a person, a part time person, to take up some other, and also for cross training and that sort. Is that the plan as well? Okay. So going to have your, whatever direction we go, yeah. you're also going to have a part-time employee that will take on other uh, responsibilities cool. deemed for that person to do, right. because this right. other person is going to be taking on far bigger right. roles. Yeah. Okay, so <coughs> again, that would be a line in the budget. Well, currently we have one full-time person, right. and we have a, a more of like a quarter-time person, I would say, but it's a part-time person. Is that, that's not right. Um, so, because it's already happening now, we need to make sure that we can get some help. See, SB2 is throwing me off on this. This is what we get snooped. 
no, so no. it could and default. Oh, the default yeah. is what's the thing you mean? Right. right. So this is, but you have to you have to have something going on now. But is it like a temp position? I'm not saying temp agency, but a right. temp yeah. position advising that possibly this will be approved in March, and then it would be if you're happy with what you've got today, yeah. you so, would bring so it forward into a permanent position. For 20 hours a week, and then in March be like, it's been real, but we don't, we don't have the money anymore. Mm -hmm. um, if that happened, that would be, or if it's not working out, you can, you have the opportunity to go and hire somebody else as well. well so, the, but so we still have this budgeted amount for this year, right? So the default budget would be, well, if we pull it back up, we have it there, right? So it's all um It's right there. The amount of the same appropriations as contained in the operating budget authorized the previous year, reduced or increased as the case may be. So you get the previous authorized budget. Mm -hmm. So this line's not going to go down. This, is what, this was the authorized amount, so that would be your... Your, your, your authorized amount is... So is it the revised amount or the originally authorized? It's the originally approved uh, budget amount, so it's 39. Okay. And in the other line it was 71. <coughs> Excuse me. still have the money to, to have that part-time person at 20 hours a week. For now, to the end of the year. To the end of the year. But even if, if, if only the default budget passed, you would have um, that line, that 7141, is still there, right? Mm -hmm. So you could have someone if you need That 20 hour, well, well no, that's already well, taken, like, well, that has to increase, but that's going to not be, that's you, you still have else. to pay for the minute taker. Right. 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 So that has to be increased <coughs> this year to go forward into the next year right. as our bu recommended budget. So we we have we have the ability to move things right now. So I believe we should get some help in here to get this taken care of. Yeah, I'm not arguing with that. Sure, I agree with that. I'm just it all set and ready to go forward and then it, we have to really come up with the reason for it. Sure. Converse is, if it's voted down, people get what they get. As my daughter was taught in Britain, here, um, stay here, you get what you get, you don't get upset. So those that vote down with, um, with uh, the budget, if, they, if that's their choice, they're going to get the government they, they wanted. So, I, mean, I don't know what else to say about that. Maybe not many stuff that you like. We need to have, you know, some kind of provision in place should that happen, or how do some essential functions mm -hmm. well, continue to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm particularly concerned about drafting a warrant, getting it approved by the state, entered into the portal. Mm -hmm. um, all of the portal functions um, are critical for establishing the tax rate and, and staying compliant with the state. Um, I, I did not used to manage them. Mm -hmm. and, and but you so should have been all along. And that's not a, a slide at Yes, you. yes. It, it belongs it's, it's, in the office. Right. We were falling back into the same pattern that, we, that some of us criticized previous boards for falling into it. And, but we did it anyways. And it should have been a staff um, function. And it should be going forward. So hopefully we won't fall into the same patterns again. So we need to figure out how we're going to pay for it. So I would suggest, I think Denise is right, we need to advertise now when we get the uh, assistance in to do some of the other clerical things that uh, you're pushing aside to, to deal with the, these other issues. I would suggest, we could talk about it as part of a budget workshop, but I think we will need to take a, I would prefer that we take a action at a select board meeting as yes. to whether or not you're going to, um, or we, sorry, not you, we, <laughs> are going to um, 
So the admin route, mm -hmm. manager route, or current route. Mm -hmm. right? so Can we do it on the is yeah. It on the agenda? Yeah, it is on the agenda, isn't it? Oh. I thought. It is on the agenda. Um, I would appreciate it if the board could determine a pay rate so that we could post that for position. Right. Oh, yeah, good point. Monday yep. night. Yep. And so if we take care of it Monday night, then we can just go forward with it on Tuesday, mm -hmm. right? I can post it Tuesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I mean, I want to talk about this more, but I think we really do. We have to take a formal vote. Out of you the just end, have so. to make it formal what, what our desire is yeah. and what we're going for, and so then we can start. Yeah. I can tell you what that. my desire is right now is to hire a town administrator. I don't, I don't think I want to go the manager route. I know there are advantages and disadvantages to that, but I prefer an administrator. Mm -hmm. And I think that it can be, it can be done in a way that um, it won't be, um, it won't be catastrophic to the overall budget. I think there are ways that we can do it where there would be an increase. What, what do we have now? Uh, readjusted to, to 49, I see. 47, oh, 49. 49, 0, 39, I read. Doctor said I didn't need a new prescription, but I argue with her. Well, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> I'm looking out, it's, it's my eye, it's not you, it's <coughs> there clearly, it's just my eye. So, um, there would be an increase for sure for, 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 um, for an administrator. I don't believe it would be substantial enough that we can't find, and I recognize that we've had other increases in the budget, but what the next go around, once we have all the information, this budget all in, is when it's gonna, when the rubbers are really hit the road, right? As I said, we're either gonna go forward with a, with a increase in taxes, or we're going to try to find places within the budget that we think is responsible for that. Recognizing that so, we've added in other places. So, but I don't think it's large, in my mind, it's not large enough of an increase that we can't absorb it in other places. So. so, so these are yellow cells, which means they calculate from elsewhere, which means that right. currently we've got an annualized expenditure in column I of 47. Mm -hmm. And 49 represents the 3% um, ATB that is plugged into the calculator. Mm -hmm. Just so you know what you're One member of the board, so mm -hmm. you all can are, have the right to have different things that you should. So if you do, but so we're talking about uh, administrative help at twenty hours a week. Right? Some, something. Mm -hmm. that, let's say that's fifteen dollars an hour. Um, so it's fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars, just using round numbers. We adjust. Round numbers twenty to twenty five thousand more when you account for <coughs> payroll taxes and retirement. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't I don't see that we have a choice. I mean, short of volunteers stepping forward to do it for free. someone that we were willing to pay, and I'll be in a lot of money, but um, to fill that um, with admin clerical support line previously. So mm -hmm. if we struggled to find someone that we were willing to pay, mm -hmm. I would, I, I know it's a big leap, but I'm going to make the leap anyway. It's going to be even harder to find someone to do it for free. So that's confidence. One member's opinion. We have the previous boards found that there were there are a number of deficiencies in um, departments in this town. The most glaring one was the highway department. We did not have a large enough crew, and maybe some might argue we don't still don't have one. I don't know, but we certainly made great headway. 
we, we needed a we needed a, a, an assistant really. We needed someone who this person is not um, full time, but we needed someone that um, was dependable. And that is, is he is it's not full time. And he's still part. That is full time. It's full time. Mm -hmm. I, pardon me. Mm -hmm. We we needed a, a full we needed an assistant. So that person we had originally said it was going to be part time, but it became a full time because that wasn't practical to say half time. That was the recommendation right. of the hiring committee. And we needed that because there were deficiencies in the town. There were things that weren't being done that residents expected to get done. I mean, you can't have... Safety also. Yeah, Safety. so it, it's holding true now in the, in, the, in the administrative side, in the executive office of the town. I mean, we don't... Times change, unfortunately. So whether you like it or not, it does. So we need... When I say we, I mean the town. Get by by doing the bare minimum at times, and even then sometimes just ignoring things. You know, we've seen, I've seen at least, what ignoring things or doing the bare minimum or just turning a blind eye to things have gotten us over the years, and it's not pretty at times when we find all sorts of catastrophes that happen instead of uh, things that could have been planned ahead to be fixed. And that's just one piece of it. So we, we need. Greater oversight, yes. In my, in my opinion, that's, that's my opinion. I think there's a chance that the increase that we're looking at would pay for itself through greater efficiency. Yeah, I would think. Lack of fines. Lack of fines. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. I just, I, I, I don't want to be a dead horse when I go back to that MS4. It, that, it's very serious. It's not, it's not something. That was done like in the past, where you would just turn in the same report, even though know, you knew you weren't really doing things. You would just send it in, apparently. And um, that was that. Well, I think those days are over. Clearly, there's a new system, that the new MS4 permit system in place that all of us little towns that need to deal with. So, and we are one of the last towns in this county to have any kind of town administrator or manager support, so I think it's time. But I will say the same thing in the public meeting when I don't have my back to the camera on Monday night. With that, I'll get off my soapbox for a moment <laughs> and let anyone else step up if they want. If not, maybe we should go home. I, I think I think it's home. Nurse my cold at home. All right, well, thank you all for your work this morning. It's still morning, right? And uh, we'll talk again on Monday night. So Monday night, we're going to take up, we're going to hear a reporter on the CIP, on REC, and the fire department, and town clerk will come in to answer some of our questions. Well, and the police officer, is officer, the police people come in to answer a few of our questions. And, we have, and then we'll have all the info. Um, public session, all of the, someone was coming in, I can't remember what. I think that they said no to that again. Okay. I think they said no to that again. Here it is. Have that drawn to have a non public for the police or personnel issue still? Some of that taken off? Okay. Okay. I was not aware of one. Well, it was one of a couple weeks ago. Well, it was one of a couple weeks ago. Yeah. They got deferred to yeah. another week and then another week. Well. Oh, that yeah. one. Well, that, um, that is not, that's um, next Monday night. That's next not, Monday night. Not okay. So. Okay. So. So we don't have to worry about that. that that's, that's not something we have to worry about. It is empty. Oh, okay. it's, it's, that's okay. I'll just take the letter. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Have we had, have we had time set for each department that's coming in to talk, or are we just having them all be here at the same time? Uh, I was going to take care of that. This week I'm going to send them an email. I did, but it's not going to refer to most of They come in at. Well, things are at 6.30, yeah. and they come in, but we can, we can see if they want to take
I could do Google.